We just saw a clip from the new hit series Community on NBC, and it's a pretty funny show, but behind every joke, there's a little bit of truth. So we have Scott Lay here. He's the president and CEO of the Community College League of California. So he's the guy with all of the answers. Welcome, Scott. <laughs> well, I'm glad you put that trust in me, Teresa. <laughs> it's so nice to be back here at State Center. Okay, no pressure, but there are 110 community colleges that are looking at you to set the record straight on community <laughs> colleges. All right? Okay. So let's go through some of the top myths that you're familiar with. Myth number one. Well, myth number one, and we saw it in that clip, is that students that are at community college couldn't get into a four-year university. The truth is that community college students arrive there for a variety of different reasons. Uh, some may have their sights uh, set on a university out of, out of state um, and can't leave right away or have, uh, can't leave home right away or have mm -hmm. their sights on a University of California campus that has a specialized program and they'd like to, to ensure that they have a maximize their chance in getting into that program. For example, here in the Valley, a lot of students have their sights set on University of California at Davis's um, winemakers program, enology and viticulture. Well, your mm -hmm. chances of getting that program as a freshman are very minimal. Why not save a little bit of money, stay at home, and ensure that you have a chance to transfer in? Good point. Myth number two. Myth number two is that you can't do anything with a community college degree. And particularly in this economy, we see that people coming out with a community college degree oftentimes are those that are best positioned to get a job. Our nurses, our firefighters, our police officers, the green jobs that, that uh, are, are currently uh, blooming and blossoming, one of the bright spots mm -hmm. in the community, those jobs are all attainable with just a community college degree. We often say that's not enough. Keep your sights set on continuing your education throughout your career. But there, is a, there are a lot of prosperous jobs right, right now with just a community college right. degree. And a four-year degree isn't for everyone. A four-year degree is not for everyone at, this, at, all, at the, any time in their life. They might want to go back to school mm -hmm. later on, and that's okay. Got it. Myth number three. Myth number three, you know, so many people talk about community colleges and, and, and attribute uh, them to having a low quality of education and poor mm -hmm. academic standards. And, and nothing could be further from the truth. We have a lot of the same faculty members that have taught and continue to teach at the California State University or the University of California. Our students, when they transfer to the four-year schools, perform just as well as the native students that came right to UC or CSU out of high school. That shows that our academic standards are right up to par with the four-year mm -hmm. universities. All right, number four. Number four is that it's difficult to transfer. I've heard that. From a community college yes. to a four-year university. Mm -hmm. and. Um, you know, there are a lot of rumors, be, you know, they get out there and people mm -hmm. say, oh, I couldn't transfer, I tried. But when you actually look at the number of students that transfer, two-thirds of the CSU graduates and one-third of the UC graduates start in the community colleges. The fact is right now there are far more students that are prepared for transfer at community college campuses but can't get in because of enrollment caps at the four-year mm -hmm. universities. So the pipeline is working well. The state needs to expand the number of slots at mm -hmm. the four-year universities to ensure that all those students that are completing their transfer goals at community colleges have a spot to transfer to. All right, last but not least, myth number five. Well, we always save the most ridiculous for last, <laughs> That's right? That's true. And that is that nobody successful goes to community colleges. And I was asked recently while I was on a radio show in Los Angeles, one of those political shows, uh -huh. and they said, name me one person that's ever successfully gone to community college. And, and I said, well, Arnold Schwarzenegger. And they, they just kind of scoffed at me and they said, well, Arnold Schwarzenegger is an actor and you know, he didn't learn anything at community colleges. He was probably just you know, wasting time. You talk to Governor Schwarzenegger about his experience. He talks about learning English as an immigrant while mm. at Santa Monica College. He talks about the business classes that made him not only one of California's best actors, but also best businessmen. Mm -hmm. uh, that's where his true riches have been made. So everywhere you look, in sports, in entertainment, in industry and business, you find community college alumnus. You know, very rarely do people think about uh, the fact that Tom Hanks started at Chabot College or Robin Williams started at College of Marin. You find stars like that from every one of our community colleges mm. in California. And George Lucas. And George Lucas, yes. <laughs> okay, Scott, to wrap it up, I'm a parent. I'm trying to decide for my son or daughter, community college, for your university. 30 seconds, sell me. Well, first check your pocketbook. $624 a year to go to community colleges. And for economically disadvantaged students, that's waived completely, zero fees. Contrast that with about $5,000 a year at the California State University or $10,000 a year at the University of California. 
We all want our students to reach their academic potential. Mm -hmm. Going to community college for a couple of years not only opens new doors, but saves a heck of a lot of money. It does. Sold. Thanks a lot, Scott. Thank you, You're Teresa. really good at this. Coming up next, our guests open up to student correspondent Courtney Gooch and share their community college experiences.